Welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report. I'm joined with Hofstra softball head coach Larissa Anderson. Thanks for joining us, coach. A pleasure. Pride is coming off back-to-back -back doubleheader sweeps with a sweep over Elon this weekend in conference play before heading to Binghamton yesterday and taking both games there. Coach, how important was it to get another conference sweep? Had a rain out on Saturday, played the two games on Sunday. How big was that, again, to win both of those games in conference play? You know, it's huge because we continue to talk about we control our own destiny, that we have to keep taking care of what we can control, and we can only control how well we play. And it was great that we were able to get the doubleheader against Elon um, and then yesterday's series against Binghamton. But it, it's, it's great to see that the team's playing well and that we're peaking at the right time. Yesterday at Binghamton in game one, Binghamton got out to a 4-1 lead, then a big seventh inning. <clears throat> Did it just take the team a little while to get warmed up yesterday? Yeah, it was. You know, you know that bus trip up there, um, we were a little flat early on. Um, Cornell le left one over the heart of the plate, which was hit out of the ballpark. Um, but their, their pitching did great. I mean, they kept us off balance, and it took us a while to get on time. Um, they made a pitching change, and then we were able to make an adjustment and, and have some key walks in some situations, and then the big home run from Petra Fessa, which just gave us an opportunity to take the lead. And then in game two, you won nine nothing. Kind of kept that momentum going from the end of game one. What was going well in game two? We were drawing some key walks. Um, we had great quality at bats. Some key walks put a little bit more pressure on them. We were getting some great hitters counts, and then being able to capitalize in those hitters counts. And that's what we've been talking about: is is understanding what the pitcher is capable of doing, what pitch we're looking for, drawing the count into our favor, and then making sure that we're capitalizing in those counts. Speaking of pitching. Both your freshman pitchers, Cornell threw a no-hitter her first career over the weekend against Elon. Then Alyssa Irons got both wins yesterday, including the shutout in game two. How how good do you feel having both of these freshman pitchers that you can rely on where if one's not having the best day, you know the other one can step in and take you, over? You know what's been great is to see them grow over the course of the season because they're freshmen and they have so much to learn and experiencing playing at this level that they're continually getting better every single outing. They're starting to understand what they need to do, how they need to compete, how they can have they can get batters out. And they all all three of them that they rely on one another. They know they can't do it alone. And it's great to see the chemistry that the two of them have when I bring in irons to relieve from Cornell and the conversations that they have and how much they support one another, that they know they need every single person on that staff in order to be successful. Then their classmate, freshman Kristen Hollum, she's having a great season. She was five for six yesterday. She's on an eight game hit streak. What, what is she bringing to this team, especially as a freshman and now leading the team in batting average as well? She has every facet. I mean, she, ha she has the speed, she has the short game. Um, she's swinging away now. So she's keeping the defense off balance where they really don't know what to expect of her. And she's doing whatever is capable of her at that time where she's reading the defense and, and if there's runners in scoring position and we need an RBI, RBI um, she's coming through in those situations and not trying to do too much where we're communicating on, hey, just get yourself on now, let's, let's turn the lineup over continually to go through. Or, hey, you need to come through here and hit the ball hard on the ground. Um, <clears throat> and again, she's, she's reading the defense and putting a lot of pressure on the defense and not trying to do too much. Talked about the freshmen on the other end of the spectrum. Sunday was senior day. All three of your seniors that are playing had had a great day on Sunday. Uh, Jessica Peslak pitching four scoreless innings. Christy Sinecori with a pinch hit RBI single. Um, how how good of a day was that for them? How good was it to see them? You know, it's so special because you you play for your seniors. You you want your seniors to go out on a high note and giving Peslak the start. Um, having such a great outing from her and then with, with Christy Sinecori coming in and having that, that pinch hit RBI and Lacey Clark having the great backdoor slide at home plate. You know, it was just, it was great. It's great for them. It's great for the team and it's great for everyone to experience that moment because then now our freshmen understand why we play and what we're trying to do and how we play for our seniors and we want to, to extend their season as long as possible. Played on the road yesterday, the rest of the season now is on the road. What kind of challenges does that present to the team going into this final home stretch? You know, this is why we play our preseason. This, our preseason sets us up for this stretch that we're going in right now because we play our first almost five weeks of our season on the road. And I, all the conversations that we had in February and early March was, this is why we're doing it. This is why our schedule is set up the way it is because the, the end of our season is on the road. Um, which is why we made the, the trip up to Binghamton to get the, used to that bus ride, you know, being able to get out of a bus and play a doubleheader and, and get to experience that aspect again because it did happen so long ago. Mm. 
um, but it's not it's not anything new. Um, we get a great routine when we're on the road. They they know their time schedule. They're fed very well. Um, so it's just making sure that they take care of business in the classroom first, so then they're not distracted by other things when we're on the field. Mm -hmm. Heading down to Charleston this weekend, another strong conference opponent. What are you expecting to see out of them, and what's it going to take to get three wins this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. College of Charleston is very good, um, so we're going to have to play very well to be able to beat them. Um, we have to continue doing what we're doing and swinging at good pitches, play great defense, and our pitchers need to be competitive and not try to do too much and, and just have, get an easy out so our defense can make easy plays. Pride is headed down to Charleston this weekend for a three-game CAA series. This has been the WB Mason Coaches Report with Hofstra softball head coach Larissa Anderson. Thanks again for joining us. My pleasure.